So Dave Filoni and Lars Mikkelsen had a small interview in the newest issue of Empire Magazine talking about the Ahsoka show and the future of the character of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now in the tease for the interview, Dave Filoni said the following. His foil throughout Rebels was Hera, Filoni states, pitting the two generals against one another is something that I find interesting. And the reactions that I have seen to this statement are kind of odd because people really seem to be against this idea. And my question to that is... What's the problem? I'm sorry, I don't understand. The reactions that I've seen to this one quote from Filoni have been so disproportionate. People are acting like he just shot their dog in the face. I don't understand what's going on. Because Filoni is right. It makes perfect sense for Thrawn and Hera to be pitted up against one another. A general from the Rebellion and uh, an admiral from the old Empire who have clashed many, many times in the past. I don't understand where... The hatred is coming from. I feel like you need to go back and watch Rebels again, people, because watch that scene from Hera's Heroes where Thrawn and Hera meet for the first time and it's like, oh yeah, it makes perfect sense for these two to be pitted up against each other. Plus, Ezra is with Hera now, so anyone who is like, oh, it should be Ezra going up against Thrawn, well, he's going to be there as well. It's not like he's going to be sidelined or something, but just the reactions to this have been so odd and mind-boggling to me that I don't understand it and it's either coming from a place of misunderstanding Rebels and its characters or just wanting to hate on the new Star Wars stuff I'm really not sure but it's been very odd to me and if one of the reasons you hate this is because it's not going to be Luke being pitted up against uh, Thrawn like it was in the old Timothy Zahn books you need to let it go. You need to remember that we are in a brand new canon now and what happened in the Legends or EU whatever you want to call it is not always what's going to happen in the new canon. It's not going to be one-to-one. -one. They're going to cherry-pick what they want to use, and we just have to accept that. Would I like Luke to be involved in this storyline? Yeah, sure, of course I would. Logistically, I don't know if that's going to happen. If it is going to happen, they will probably definitely keep it a secret from us. I can't see them come out and announce it beforehand. But I feel like people just need to, they need to let go of some of the past really. You do really need to start moving on. Now as for the interview and the issue, I read through the issue and there's honestly not a whole lot in there. It's a very short thing. I haven't read Empire Magazine in years and uh, I thought this was going to be like a multi-page interview. It's literally like five or six paragraphs uh, and there's really nothing in there to really talk about. They just talk about bringing Thrawn back, uh, the look they went for to make the blue look okay on camera and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, it's it's honestly nothing much more than that. It's a pretty nothing article, to be perfectly honest. The two bits of information that are really relevant is what was in the tease, pitting Hera and Thrawn against each other, and uh, Thrawn basically, Lars Mikkelsen saying that Thrawn's probably going to come back and try and clean up and organize the Imperial remnants. That's really all that was noteworthy. There's not much else going on in the interview, really. It's pretty bad. Uh, at the end of the day though, yeah, I don't know why people are freaking out about this. I'm excited for more Ahsoka. I really like the show. An official announcement of Season 2 would be lovely to have sometime soon, and I look forward to spending more time with these characters going forward and to get a full season's worth of Thrawn, because the three episodes with the brief appearances that he had by him wasn't enough for me, and I really, really want more. I just want him to be able to see him stretch his legs. Anyway, that's it for me. Just a very short video today. Let me know what you think. Be sure to follow me here and on TikTok at Cubcause of Star Wars TikTok. And yeah, may the force be with you. Always.